Okay guys welcome back. So in this video I will be talking about an example in which you get further understandings of the concepts of logarithms or the second part of the equations or the basic concepts of logarithms which are the changing of bases and uh, solving logarithmic equations. So in order to for, uh, give you some examples of uh, these two concepts I will use two examples in this video right so my examples in this video will be something like this we'll take now if you have been given some example like this so you see 3 log 4 to the base x is equal to uh, 2 log uh, x to the base 3 right something like this right just some arbitrary values something like this so find the value of x so what is x right so what is x so this is the question so now you know first of all in order to put the theorems you have to eliminate these uh, coefficients right so I have been talking this in many videos and in many concepts that I have been talking about uh, so first of all what you have to do is that whether you put the other in order to apply the other uh, equations or the other theorems of logarithms first of all you have to isolate these coefficients so as the second step what I will do is that so as the, as the first step I, what I will do is that I will take I'll eliminate these coefficients so to eliminate those I will write this one as log 4 to the base x now if you have here 3 this will become the power of x so that is x to the power 3 also equal to log x to the base 3 since you have 2 here this 2 will become the power of 3 from the concept from the basic concepts of logarithms so if you have something like this you can say this will be I'll sum, uh, further simplify this so this is log 4 to the base x to the power 3 uh, which is equal to log x to the base 9 right log x to the base 9 so what you can say is that when you have something like this when you have something like this so what you have to do here what you have to do here is that if you have something like this you have to take the inverse value so right you know how to change the base you know how to change the base so the, from the first theory of changing the base you can say this will be x to the power 3 is equal to 1 upon log 9 x right log 9 to the log x to the base 9 so you can say that this will be log 4 to the base x to the power 3 times log 9 to the base x is equal to 1 right is equal to 1 so what you have to do is that uh, you can say this to be log you can say this to be log uh, 10 to the base x to the power 3 divided by log 10 to the base 4 times log 10 to the base x divided by log 10 to the base 9 is equal to 1 right is equal to 1 so what I can do here is that now I can take this power I will take this power out now this is actually from the second theory of changing the basis right so I, I now as the uh, next step I will take this thing out so I can say 3 times log 10 to the base x times the log 10 to the base x is equal to now so you have to actually find the value of this one and you have to find the value of this one so I will say this is equal to log 10 to the base sorry log 4 to the base 10 times log 4 log 9 to the base 10 so this is log 10 to the base uh, log x to the base 10 this is also log x to the base 10 so this is actually like a times a which is a squared so I can write this one squared right this one squared so this will be log 10 x squared and I'll take this 3 this side so that will be no, actually this whole thing squared right whole thing squared is equal to one third log 10 to the base of 
log 9 to the base 10 right so what I can do is in order to solve for x I have to take the square root of both sides so the square root of this side is some value and I have to take that and then I have a solution for log 10 to the base x some value actually I have to simplify this so I will not simplify this at this step so I will simplify this I will take the value to be y right value to be y when I get this uh, square root of both sides so if log 10 to the base uh, log x to the base 10 is equal to y we can say x is equal to 10 to the power y now in order to find y I have to take the square root of this side square root now I have to multiply log 4 to the base 10 uh, from into log 9 to the base 10 and divide it by one third I have to take the square root positive root of that and I have to make it the power of 10 and that will be equal to x so that is the way that is the uh, mode or that is the uh, steps those are the steps as to be how you can solve an equation using a logarithmic equation when you have to change the base as well so one of in one of my previous videos I explained to you about explained to you two examples in which you have to solve for x using the logarithmic equations and using the basic logarithmic theorems so those were from the basic logarithmic theorems where you have to multiply and uh, divide or take the product or the quotient and in this video I explained to you about uh, using logarithmic equations when you have to change the base as well so those are th this one example so in, this, in the next video I'll be talking about another concepts of indices and logarithms see you then